Okay, so now let's look at different ways we can reshape features and edit vertices within ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so we're now here in ArcGIS Pro, and of course we'll have already gone through all the process of uh, configuring everything for proper editing. Always keep in mind that in ArcGIS Pro, you are always able to edit your data. There is no start and stopping an edit session like there was in the older ArcMap product. So we're gonna go in and look at a parcel and say we need to uh, change the shape of it because maybe it is um, acquired additional area from an adjoining parcel or maybe we just found a better plat with some uh, more uh, current information and that kind of thing. So we're just gonna zoom into an area, say down here, uh, for example and say that uh, this parcel here now has some additional area that's been added, added to it so we want to reshape it to include that new area so what we're going to do uh, first verify that again our parcels are editable so we've gone to the list by editing tab in the contents pane set that up and let's go ahead and make it the only editable layer just so we don't accidentally edit another layer so we're going to make that the only editable layer by right clicking on it and then choosing make the only editable layer. We also want to make sure it is selectable. So we want to be able to select the one we want to edit so we've done that. See here the parcels is selectable so we're good there. Next we're going to go up here to the edit tab in the ribbon and with that use our select tool here to select that parcel that we want to edit. So you can see it outlined in red here. Now we're going to go up to the tools group and into this little window that lists all the various um, editing tools available. Again, if we didn't happen to see the reshape, which is right there, we could use the little arrows over here to scroll up and down in this little window, or we could click the bottom arrow down here and see all of the tools that are available. So now we're going to click on the reshape tool. Notice it opens the Modify Features pane over here on this side of the interface. Uh, this is undockable, meaning we can take and move it. So if you did have a secondary monitor or something you wanted to put it over on, you could do that. So we're going to reshape this. Now, typically you would have some sort of document or something that would show you uh, the change that you're going to make. I don't have such a document. I'm just going to... Uh, kind of pretend I do. So with that selected, we're going to also make sure our snapping is turned on, verify what we're snapping to. So we're snapping to the endpoint, the vertice, the edge, and the intersection, which is fine. Those will work fine. I can verify my snapping tolerance, which is set to 10 pixels. I'm going to change that to map units, just because I think in map units much better than I do pixels. Um, so with that, we'll go OK. And now we're going to start drawing the sketch that represents the, the change we're trying to make to this parcel. So we're going to click here and then we'll come out and, you know, again, pretend maybe we have a plat or something that says a specific distance uh, or bearing, direction, whatnot. We can then right click, go up and choose what we want to do. So I'm going to do direction and distance. So south 67 degrees 29 minutes and again say we have a document that says that's supposed to be 55 seconds at a straight 240 feet so i'm going to put that in there hit enter so that takes that part now we're going to come up here right click and go perpendicular so we're now perpendicular to this existing line and we click there on that edge. Now we can actually go in and use, say, the trace tools so to make sure we follow this exact edge um, if we wanted to. Or this is pretty much a straight line. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue that and then snap to this vertice over here and double click. So that has now reshaped my existing parcel and added that area that I just drew to it. Now we can also take away. So we'll go back to the same parcel that we just edited and draw a new sketch to subtract area from 
this parcel. So again, we would have some document, some source that would tell us what we need to remove. So I'm just going to start drawing the sketch that represents the area I'm going to take away and say we're going to cut out this area. So I'm just going to uh, click here, right click up here. So say it's parallel to this existing line. So make that parallel. Now I'm just going to come down to like, I could either snap there or just come outside of that existing boundary and double click. And now you can see it has now removed that area from that parcel. So I've gone through and used the reshape to both add to or take away from an existing feature. So pretty handy uh, there. So next let's look at editing vertices. Okay. So maybe we are going to take this same parcel and we're trying to match it up to some other feature um, or based off some sort of aerial photo, make it follow something we see there or whatnot, whatever. So again, we're going to select, make sure it is still selected, this parcel. Then we're going to go up here into the tools window, choose edit vertices. When we do that, you can see the vertices appear, the little green and then the red squares, those are the vertices of that polygon. So we can do a couple of things. One, if we put our mouse pointer over a vertice, you'll notice how the pointer changes to a box with four arrows around the outer edge of it. That means we're on that vertice. And if we hold our mouse button down, I can now drag that vertice to wherever I need it to be. So, you know, wherever I, I want it to be. And by the way, if your snapping is enabled, if you press your space bar down while you're doing this, it'll disable snapping temporarily. So say I need that vertice to be in this location. I just release off once I drag it to where it needs to be. Same with this vertice down here. I can move it up. Again, holding my space bar down to temporarily disable my snapping. Move it up where it needs to be and then let off both buttons. Okay. So that's doing it one at a time. Uh, you can also come in and use the tools down here on the editing toolbar to go in and say, for example, add a new vertice. So if I choose to, as long as I have that tool selected, I can keep adding new vertices, which then would allow me to go in and refine the shape a little bit more with the additional vertices, or maybe I have too many vertices. I want to make it a straight line from this point to that point, so I need to delete these. Go down here to the Delete Vertice button, and again, just click on it, click on it, click on it, and it goes away. So that's how we can add and remove. You can also right click when you're in the edit vertices, get this menu up and because there's no vertice there, I can add one in or again, I can right click and subtract one. So various ways that we can edit the vertices, uh, whether it's a, a line or a polygon, uh, the, they both work the same. Okay. The other thing I want to show you is how you can select multiple vertices. So when I put my mouse on a vertice and I whoop, forgot I'm in the uh, <laughs> subtract. So let's go back to um, select here. And by the way, we can select vertices with various options here. So we can do a circle, a rectangle, or a lasso. So with that feature selected, if we go to a rectangle and that done, we have selected all of those vertices. Notice how these non-selected ones are not filled in, the, the squares. These are filled in. So now with those selected, as I'm grabbing and moving the one vertice, it's moving the others because I have all of them selected. Okay. And then I can just click off to clear that. Okay. You can also use your shift key to select multiple vertices instead of drawing a shape. And again, when I do that, notice it's going to move them, all the ones I have selected in there. So you gotta be careful with this. You can see as I'm going this way, I'm starting to create weird shapes uh, with this polygon. Those are all ways that we can uh, select multiple vertices, individual vertices, and then edit those as needed to make sure we've got the right uh, spatial dimensions and shape for the features that we are creating. 
So I hope you found that demonstration helpful, it allows you to better understand the processes used to reshape features as well as to edit vertices within ArcGIS Pro. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us if you need any additional assistance with these techniques. You can reach us at our website at www.egisassociates.com. Give us a call at 678-710-9710 or shoot us an email at info at egisassociates.com. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed the video.